Good afternoon, it's Gary from BenandIron.com coming to you from the Lower Mainland. Today I'm going to show you this 2005 Western Star 4900 highway tractor. It has a Detroit Diesel Series 60 engine, 475 horsepower, it has 1,161,000 kilometers and 18,767 engine hours. It has an 18-speed Eaton Fuller transmission. The front axle rating is 12,000 pounds on spring suspension with air assist and 46,000 rears on airliner air ride suspension. The rear axle ratio is 4.300. It does have a Jake brake, 3H, 3 8 inch frame, a 246 inch wheelbase, a 48 inch high rise double sleeper, and it has full lockers. You can also see this unit is equipped with a moose bumper. So we're going to take a general walk around the unit and then we're going to come up tight for a close inspection. I have some space restrictions. I will try and show you as best I can from the distance. And again, we'll come up close in a moment. It's a silver color. Here's the space restriction. I can't show you the wide angle I want. There's a twin exhaust. Let's get up close for a tight inspection here. Come right up to this moose bumper. Let's get a little closer and we'll just pan up the passenger side of the unit. driver's side of the unit. Of course we will show you the engine shortly. The front was in good shape, the air cleaner is in good shape. The steps to the passenger side are also good. Not seeing any problems with the paint or body. And the mirrors here are in good shape. The CVI is good till April 2014. Let's put the sleeper unit here. Everything looks good there. Let's take a look at the back of the unit. Hookups are good and the decking is nice and level. Just going to get behind here. See what we can see in the drivetrain from this angle. Tires are eleven R twenty two and a half. the air suspension there. Taking a glance at leaks, everything looks good. The wheel is nicely greased. Here's its aluminum rims all the way around as well. And 
let's get behind the wheels here. Take a look at the sleeper from the driver's side. It looks to be in good shape. The exhaust housing is also in good shape. And the stairs, steps up to the cab are nice and level. The mirrors here are good, no cracks or pits. The air cleaner on the driver's side is also good. Just a small dent at the bottom. And the hood looks good. Let's take a look inside the unit. Looks like there's two different seats it's not a seat cover, so the driver's side seat has been replaced. Let's take a look at the panel here. Cab looks to be in good shape. I'm just taking a glance at the windshield. Looks like both panes are in good order. No chips or cracks. We're going to take a look here in the sleeper unit. We do have limited lighting, so you might have to refer to the photos. I'm going to start up the unit now, and let's take a look under the hood. Another good piece of iron at an iron job. Thanks for watching.